Hello, and welcome to LSET Tech Bytes. In this video, we will learn how to install Jenkins on the Windows operating system. Let's dive in. First, let's understand what is Jenkins. Jenkins is a leading open source automation server that supports hundreds of plugins. Now let's move towards advantages of Jenkins. It has multiple hosting options. It is easy to debug. It's easy to build, deploy or launch anything async. Takes less time to deliver the project. For project management, it provides accurate data support. Now let's move on to the installation part of the process. Installing Jenkins is very similar across Windows, Mac OS and Linux operating systems. For optimal results, adhere to your system's specific instructions. In the first step, you must have Java JDK installed on your computer. The second step is to install Jenkins. To download Jenkins, go to the Jenkins official website. Now to download the Jenkins installer file, scroll to the Jenkins for Windows and click on Download. As you can see, the file will begin to download. In the meantime, let's check if the JDK is installed on your system. To do this, firstly go to the Start menu. Then search for Command Prompt and open it. Type the following command to verify the JDK installation. Java version. As you can see, I have Java version 20.02 installed in my system. Now we will move back to the installation part. To install Jenkins, double-click the downloaded Jenkins Desktop Installer (exe) file. You will get the standard installer screen. To continue, click Next. Choose your login type to run service as local system A, then click Next. Now on the selection port, click on the Test Port button. To proceed, click Next. Here, select the folder in which you want Jenkins to be installed. I am leaving it at default. Then again, click Next. Please remember that only JDK 11, 17 and 21 are supported by Jenkins. In the next step, we will install JDK 17 on our system. You may skip this section if you have already installed JDK 11, 17 or 21. For that, go to the web browser of your choice and search for the download JDK in version 17. Click on the first link, it will redirect you to the official Oracle website. Scroll down and download the Windows JDK Installer EXE file. To install JDK, double-click on the downloaded JDK Desktop Installer EXE file. Click Next to proceed with the installation. Click Close. Let's move on to Jenkins installation. Here, click on Change. Now select JDK 17 from the Java JDK Inc. folder. It'll be on C drive and click OK. Here. Select the folder in which you want JDK to be installed. I'm leaving it at default and click Next. Again, click on Next. And then Install. As you can see, installation will has begun. It will take some time depending on your internet speed. After the installation is done, click on Finish. The next step is to select the path where Java JDK is installed. On the web browser, search for the HTTP localhost 8080. Now from the Unlock Jenkins in screen copy path and it to the Windows Explorer address bar. Then from Notepad copy the password and paste it to the administrator password. Click on Continue. On Customize Jenkins page, select Install Suggested Plugin. It will take some time to download the recommended plugins, depending on your internet speed. The next step is to create the admin user. For that, fill in the username and password. And please confirm your password. Now, provide your full name and email address. Click Save and Continue. Now, in the Jenkins configuration, you will get the Jenkins URL HTTP localhost 8080. Copy it and click the Save and Finish button. As you can see, Jenkins is ready to use. Click Start using Jenkins. Here, click on the logout. Now please log in with the same username and password you have used while creating the user. Well done! Your first Jenkins application has been successfully installed on your Windows computer. Now you can begin building your projects. Thank you for joining us on LSET Tech Bytes. 
If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tech insights. Until next time, happy coding.